Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, as you know, guys, on the channel, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Google Chromebook. I, I own several of them. I think we've shown off about four of them on the channel. Um, there's something you need to know about these Chromebooks when you buy them. I know a lot of times people just buy electronics. They think they're going to get, you know, a lifetime of use out of it, or they're going to get many years of use out of it, and they don't realize that, unfortunately, many of these devices do become obsolete, uh, sometimes after a short period of time, sometimes after a long period of time. Most of us experience this with our smartphones and things like that. Well, when it comes to Chromebooks, there is a bit of an expiration date, I guess you could say, on those updates that you can expect to get from Google. And I will put a link to this article that I'm about to show here uh, in my video. I'll put it in the description box. I'll also put it down in the uh, comment section. So I'm going to keep this as untechnical as possible. Basically, when a new piece of hardware is, uh, is created like this uh, Lenovo N23, I think is what we're rocking here, an N23, um, basically Google says there's going to be you know 6.5 years of life uh, of updates. And, and security patches and, and support for it uh, before that device is going to be considered obsolete. Now, on certain devices, there is only a five-year policy that went out on those devices. So, in other words, once you get it, you can expect, you know, five to six years worth of, of use out of that device. Well, I'm sitting here looking at some of the devices that I own, and already in August of 2019, I'm already going to be at that five-year marker, and those particular devices are not going to be supported for updates anymore. So, if you get yourself a brand-new Chromebook, you can expect at least, you know, five solid to six solid years of use out of it uh, before the technology either becomes obsolete, it'll, it'll no longer take updates, or you have to start walking about worrying about security breaches or programs just not running. Okay, so um, Google has what's called the uh, auto update policy. And once your device reaches the auto update expiration, you're no longer going to get that support that you need. Um, it doesn't seem like a big deal until you're years into using your product and then an app doesn't run the way that it used to, or you can't run a program the way that you used to, or the video starts to get really laggy. So basically, as a device is no longer supported by a manufacturer or Google, uh, you're going to find it starting to get a little bit slower. You're going to have to start worrying about some security breaches and stuff like that. And obviously, when you use technology, especially older technology, we want you to be as safe as possible. So if we take a look at this uh, this policy from Google, um, they talk about the auto update expiration. Now, this is going to apply to schools and businesses. So if you're somebody that works in a school system and you guys are rocking Chromebooks or you've been using Chromebooks for three or four or five years, you know, many schools may not have in the budget to fork out a half million dollars or quarter million dollars to get every kid a new Chromebook, depending on the size of the district. So this is something that districts need to take into consideration, too. Um, you know, any piece of technology is going to get outdated with time. But if you're buying these things thinking you're going to get a decade of use out of them, you really got to watch out when you do that. So myself with my own models that I've, that I've got, I'm going to have to worry about what I'm going to do with them. So the way I see it, you've got yourself about three options if you've got yourself a Chromebook um, and you're coming up on that five or six year uh, time period where you're no longer going to get those updates like you used to. Um, you could just cut your losses. You could sell it if you want to. Take the money and go buy yourself a new Chromebook or some other device. Um, you know, that's definitely going to be an option for you. These, uh, these Lenovo Chromebooks still have a good resell to them. Most of your Chromebooks seem to keep a decent resell in general, especially the newer ones that are out there. Um, you, can, you could go that route if you want to. The other thing you could do is just use it and not worry about it. And hopefully you don't have to worry about any kind of security breaches or any laggy programs and things like that. Uh, so that could be a problem that could pop up. Um, but again, some people might just use it. I mean, I still have family members that are still using PCs that have Windows 7 on them and their jobs still run Windows 7. They haven't even updated to 8 or 10 and so on. So again, that's that's another option for you. The other thing you could do is poke around a little bit in the YouTube videos and uh, find yourself maybe some sort of a hack or a way to install a uh, form of Linux on it, Ubuntu and whatnot. Those of you that are a little more into computers know what I'm talking about. You can install an alternate operating system on there. That's going to be supported by the crowd, by the community, something that you're going to get your updates by the enthusiasts that write the software. So that's a much more technical option, and that might be something I do with one of my older models just to kind of mess around with it once it's no longer supported, which is going to happen soon. Now, also in the link to this article that I gave you, they've got the Google-approved Chrome devices, and they tell you essentially how long your software is going to last before you no longer get the updates. So again, I'm not trying to create panic or anything like that, but for those of us that bought Chromebooks, say in 2014, 2015, we're going to start running into some issues pretty soon where we could have problems accessing the places that we used to go, especially if we use a lot of the Google specific apps, especially if we're using Drive or Google Docs and so on. So if you look at the list of devices over here on the uh, article here on the left side, 
you know, you got an Acer. If you have a, an AC700, the auto update expiration date was back in August of 2016. And it's not going to be five years from the date that you buy the item or the date that it was manufactured. It's going to be five years from the date that the hardware was introduced. Uh, the C7 Chromebook no longer has support as of October of 2017. Now, newer devices like the Chromebook tab is going to be covered through August of 2023. So you can see you've got that four or five year gap. Okay. So these are things you got to think about. But even my own C300 is going to be running out of support here pretty soon and, and my Toshiba and so on. So I just wanted to kind of get the word out about that. If you buy this, you know, five years is probably what you're looking at. I mean, I've got family members, again, that use really old devices. They still get online with it. They're, they don't, they're reluctant to change. They don't want to switch over to new things. And so for people that buy Chromebooks, they buy these devices because they want something that's going to be easy to use. They want something that's going to, you know, be easy to update. They don't have to worry about running some kind of complicated virus software and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, Google's not not doing us wrong by only giving us five years of support or six and a half years of support. It's cool they do that. I just wish that they would just continue supporting these older devices because to me it's going to create some waste down the road. Um, but again, you've got options if you have an older Chromebook that's going maybe three or four years old. Maybe consider picking up one of the newer ones. But then again, sometimes even the newer ones don't have performance that does a whole lot for you anyway. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's just my little spiel on uh, support for updates for you know security breaches, viruses, and so on. Uh, when it comes to the Chromebooks. Viruses, I wouldn't say, in my opinion, are such as big of an issue as they are with, say, a Windows machine, but you still got to worry about people hacking into your machines. You want to make sure that the machines run efficiently, that you don't run into any kind of lag issues and delay and stuff like that. So that's it, guys. That's my little spiel on it. And uh, again, if you like the channel, please like or subscribe. And uh, again, make sure you mash the button once you subscribe so you get all the updates that are coming out. And uh, I think that's it, guys. So I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. We got a lot more tech videos coming your way. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right. Have a great uh, evening. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.